The S250 standard is actually um, a collective framework of best practices that has been developed uh, across our country over with the last decade or so, specifically uh, with focused effort in the last five years. And really it pulls together uh, all the key elements that utility companies, both owners and operators, as well as the construction industry, are uh, actually need to, uh, to complete the efforts during construction purposes to map and depict and uh, manage records uh, dealing with uh, utility infrastructure. It provides a consistent set of, of terminology that can be used across the various disciplines involved in the uh, design, operation, and maintenance of underground utility. It also provides um, standard the standard that can be used uh, by the municipalities during their permitting process and provides the tool uh, that consistently records what they need, why they need it, and provides the utility companies a, uh, a consistent tool in how to provide it and how it can be illustrated to meet the needs of the municipality. I think some of the factors that drove us to create the standard was the uh, increasing um, push and drive inside of the uh, utility industry to actually get better at collecting records. Uh, and most of the times that shows up on the back end when you go to share data or you go to use the exact same data that you missed collecting the first time around to do subsequent projects. So these things started to kind of come to a head and started to build up to the point where we absolutely needed something uh, and kind of uh, the do nothing was no longer an option. And so it really started to kind of uh, gain momentum through a couple of key efforts from a couple of different uh, key associations. But really it just made sense and it was the right thing to do at this time. So we were able to pull a uh, bunch of people together, some key uh, stakeholders in the industry, and really drive um, through some of the best practices and internal standards of different companies to actually end up at the, uh, at the spot where we are now, which is a, a full-blown uh, standard. A group of us got together and were concerned about the way uh, utility companies and municipalities were recording and depicting underground utility. And we felt everybody was producing a standard or specification. So when you think about it, 500 municipalities, the number of utilities across Canada, wouldn't it be simpler if one standard was available so that the underground plant could be uniformly, consistently tagged, authenticated by the person who is putting it to the ground, and at a later date be readily available for uh, information purposes, uh, designation purposes, and locate purposes. Standard has uh, several key elements, but the three that I find uh, that are most important are really the governance model that the uh, standard actually describes in Clause 4, the accuracy levels in Clause 5, and within Clause 5, uh, data sharing. So in Clause 4, the governance model is really uh, a huge improvement to what we currently have uh, within our industry. And it really describes the, uh, the tools, the techniques, the, the policy, even the uh, processes required to effectively manage mapping records uh, by a utility owner. Um, the accuracy levels found in Clause 5 are very important. It's the first time that we've seen in our industry a defined set of uh, parameters, both in the uh, X, Y, and Z coordinates, which is uh, heavy mappy, mapping speak, but it certainly uh, allows us to point back to a, a nice table and a nice guide. And the data sharing is critically important, especially now in our industry where um, collaboration amongst uh, key stakeholders in a utility type project is required very early on in the initiation of the project. So the ability for us <clears throat> to not only have that governance model in place, the accuracy level describes, but then also set us our, ourselves up so that we can share the data once we've collected so that all stakeholders in a project can uh, gain value from it. Uh, the three most important things of the standard to me. The key audience for the S250 standard are the owners themselves of the plant, placing the uh, uh, plant or services into the ground. The uh, second group would be the regulators who, who control the right of way and need to provide permission to place the plant 
here rather than there within the right of way. The third group of uh, persons that are interested in S-250 are the contractors and utility locators who need consistent language and be to be able to locate and designate the existence of the plant. And last but not least, it's the homeowner that needs to have an un a good understanding and appreciation of this standard because the standard provides minimum disruption to their services. If I get the plant in quickly, then there's less disruption of traffic to that individual. The municipalities are also um, interested in this for permitting purposes, for circulation purposes, and for final as-built to ensure that the plant that was proposed to be put into the ground was actually placed in the ground as proposed. The impact uh, to, of the standard um, could be significant on a couple of key uh, stakeholders. For owner operators, it certainly uh, is now a framework to uh, perform some kind of a gap analysis and sure up that gap uh, around their governance of their mapping, uh, mapping records management program. Um, it will drive change uh, during construction. So the audience there would be the, the contractors or the constructors of the utility infrastructure as they're laying and installing um, new infrastructure. And from an operations and maintenance perspective, it will drive changes in um, the audiences on the back end that have to deal with this uh, underground infrastructure that's in service and will be for, for several decades. Municipalities responsible for uh, right-of-way management are responsible for uh, the location and placement of plant in the ground. Uh, the development of utility corridors within the right-of-way is possible now because of S-250.